previously on the road. This is the best tournament and we want to come out here and dominate just so that we can kind of get that under our belt and you know we can kind of teach the underclassmen how we're going to be and what we're going to do on the field. We're just going to try and come out here and be relaxed and loose and play how we play, but when we play well, I think it'll definitely propel us into the season. So I'm very proud of their ability to play solid defense, some really good pitching, and some timely hitting, and it's a big reason why we're having a, a good start here in Palm Springs. Welcome back on the road. It's day three here in Cathedral City. And the Bruins, well, they have another long day in store with a doubleheader back-to-back -back games against LSU from the SEC and Nevada from the Mountain West. Day three brought an early start as the team gathered for breakfast and then boarded the buses as the sun began to rise over the Coachella Valley. The Bruins took an early 2-0 lead when Brittany Moiai singled up the middle in his second inning. It was actually an inside pitch, but I stayed inside it and tried to keep it up the middle. But it went a little to the left, but I mean, it got its job done. Today was a day where we had some of the underclassmen um, in Misha Sadaraka and, and Brittany Moyai come up and come up with some pretty big uh, clutch hits for the team. Um, but throughout the weekend, and it, it really adds to a great uh, team offense that we've been really been successful with this weekend. That was enough for Paige McDuffie, who won a complete game seven innings and earning the 2 nothing shutout. It was really exciting for me, especially I just haven't really been able to play still that much just with innings and stuff because of my arm and I got to finish the full game so it was really exciting for me. I was really pumped up before. My thing was just trying to stay calm the entire time. I'm big about not thinking and stuff so just trying to keep my poise and stuff no matter how excited or pumped up I was. Coach is always saying the game doesn't know your age so I mean we're all playing like UCLA Bruins so as long as you keep playing our game and sticking together I mean we'll do We'll do well. In the weekend's finale, UCLA scored early and often, plating five runs in the first and five runs in the third. Misha Sataraka hit three doubles and scored two runs for the Bruins. Closing out a tournament is always something that you look to do and finish strong. And uh, they showed uh, what we call great poise, and uh, you know, at the plate, they took pitches and um, and literally took what the, what the opponent gave us, and then they capitalized with some, you know, some pretty big hits to be able to put some runs on the board. Ali Carter earned her third win of the weekend, going four innings and striking out seven. It's definitely a good feeling coming out here. Um, we haven't had the best showing in the past, so to come out and just with a clean slate and not worry about the past and focus on the future, um, it was nice. And the team was on the same page the whole weekend, which was good as well. My defense on my back for sure during the game, but um, I was just found my groove and just kept throwing, keeping it simple and uh, working with my catcher on each batter, keeping it simple with them as well. Maybe the most exciting moment of the game came in the fourth inning when Kaylin Sprawls hit her first collegiate home run. I was just waiting for my fastball inside and I ended up getting it and pulling it. Right after I hit it, I thought the wind was blowing it back in, so I was just running as hard as I could. And then finally when it hit over, I just heard the dugout go crazy and I just looked over there and saw everyone yelling and it just still feels unreal. For someone like you know Kaylin to come up and go yard is, is just a it, it, the energy that it sent throughout the entire dugout. There, everybody was thrilled for her. Um, so it was a great opportunity. She capitalized um, on a moment for you know that she prepares for Monday through Friday, and it was it was a great way to finish the tournament, having uh, you know every Bruin be able to contribute to a great weekend. We we win games on us. I mean teamwork, being loud, always staying up. We win games. A lot of people have been asking, you know, what do you expect from your team in 2013? And um, I've been excited to just get out there and see the different, uh, the different ways we're going to be able to win ball games. Um, but to walk out of here 5-0, and it's a great feeling, you know, because we, we always have great expectations coming into the tournament. But to walk out 5-0 and and playing some, some great opponents builds great confidence for us heading into the rest of the tournament season and preparing for Pac-12. Well, that'll wrap it up here on the road with the UCLA softball team. Again, the team going 5-0, winning today on Sunday 2-0 against LSU. And then again, 13-4 against Nevada. And of course, the season continues for UCLA softball. And the best place to get information on the team throughout the year is right here at UCLABruins.com.